Are you guys ready? Hey, my name is Christian Lee. I'm here with KCR College Radio, and I'm here with the band Chastity Belt. I'm Lydia, and I'm in Chastity Belt. <laughs> What's up? I'm Annie. I'm Gretch. Julia. Hey, and so, Julia, you're the lead singer, right? Yeah. And Gretchen, she plays the drums, Annie plays the bass, and Lydia plays the guitar, too. Did your research? Yeah, yeah. I try. <laughs> You guys have been playing music for a while, and so my question is, uh, what's a song when you were a kid that made you want to get into music? Pass it. Ooh. Ooh. Um, I, th I really got into the strokes in the middle, in the middle school. Um, and I was, yeah, I thought those guitar parts were some sick lead lines, made me want to play lead. <laughs> I was pretty into Weezer in middle school. Um, yep. <laughs> I thought in high school it would be the coolest thing ever to be in a Fleetwood Mag cover band. That was like my dream. <laughs> um, some of the first songs I learned on guitar were Blink-182. So, yeah, very inspiring. And so, you know, you guys dropped three albums. You dropped your recent one two months ago. Mm -hmm. Drop. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so I feel like, you know, each album, you know, you guys get more you know mature with like the lyrics and also you know you guys just get bigger like popularity wise too and so my question is you know do you guys ever miss how casual it was before because i remember when you guys like first started out too you know you guys you know had those joke songs like what pussy weed and beer you know james Dean, and you guys even did like a cover of like soldier boys you know like kiss me through the phone right <laughs> I got this one. <laughs> yeah, that was a, well. Our cover of "Kiss Me Through the Phone" was actually an old band called Combo Pack that was before Chastity Belt, and that's pretty embarrassing. So we're not going to talk about that one too much. <laughs> but I will say, is that still it, on YouTube? We should take that down. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like we still have a sense of humor, and it still does feel casual. I mean, obviously not all the time. Like some things get a lot more nervous for. But like, still, I can look at anyone on stage, and we can have a laugh together. Like, it's not, you know, it's not so obvious in every one of our lyrics and everything. But we all still have the same sense of humor, so that lightness is still there. Sweet. Awesome. And so, you know, I just saw you guys warm up, and you guys, you know, played really well. And so, I know you guys did this before, like for previous shows. But are you guys gonna play "Who Let the Dog Out"? Before you know, you guys get on stage. Is that a Maybe. I hope so. Okay. All right. Well, it's been a while. Mm -hmm. It's cool. <laughs> okay. Well, like going back to this too, you know, it's like, what would you say was like your most memorable performance, like your most memorable show? Is it like, I know you guys did one. It was like what the naked beer run. That one was like pretty memorable, right? <laughs> so well. Yeah. Do you guys have like any other ones, or would you say that takes the cake? I think that might take the cake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, otherwise it's just like playing a show at a bar. Okay, well. <laughs> well, it's cool how you guys are fully clothed for this one. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, let let's flip the question. Like, what's one of the memorable? Like, what's one of the memorable shows that you guys has been to? Um, I would say on my 18th birthday, I saw the Flaming Lips at a festival, and I got crowd surfed, and that was cool. Yeah. That was that was like, and I touched Wayne's bubble. He like came out in the crowd on, in a bubble. <laughs> that was like very <laughs> memorable. Yeah. <That's> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't think I have any. I can't think of any. <laughs> Probably like Dave they Matthews Band concert together. that got really yeah. crazy. You know. I don't know. Uh, I saw No Doubt and Blink-182. I'm just talking about Blink-182 a lot now. Um, but I saw them at Shoreline Amphitheater uh, when I was 13. That was kind of memorable. <laughs> like, um, we went on tour with this band Wire, and I, I like... For some reason, didn't end up watching them that much during when we. I think we were just like hanging out, like I don't know. Anyways, then we went and saw them. I think in Berlin, and that night, 
we met up with Courtney Barnett and the that and the band and like yeah. we were all there and with Wire this so it was like two bands we toured with and then I was like watching Wire and all of a sudden their songs were hitting me with this new intensity and I like yeah it was really so good, good. Yeah. I felt I just like it's felt the oh well oh my god <laughs> Yeah, I used to really hate the band The National, and then we were playing Sasquatch, and I just, I think I got too high, and the visuals were really insane, there was like this, no, I was like pretty far away, but they had this eye that was like glowing, and I was watching them, and the eye was like coming at me, and I I started crying, and for ever since, they've been like one of my favorite bands. <laughs> Awesome. And so, you know, like, like for example, this interview and then like multiple interviews and even like in your music videos, it shows off like your personalities really well. And so, one of my favorite albums from you guys is, you know, No Regrets. And particularly, I like the song Seattle Party. And I watched your music video. And so, how did the idea of, you know, just bringing your couch around the city, how did that happen? Um, yeah. That was our friend Stacy's idea. She directed that music video. Okay. Um, Lydia's couch. Yeah, it was actually like a lot of work. <laughs> it was a cool idea, but it was like very exhausting. <laughs> yeah, that couch has been a lot of places. Okay. Another quick question too, relating to one of your songs. Okay, I need to know, is the song James Dean about the actor or is it about the porn star? <laughs> um haven't thought about that song in a while. I don't really think it's about either one of them. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> okay. And I know, Julia, you're really into reality TV. Yeah. yeah. And so my question is, you know, are you guys having any luck getting like one of your songs on like Catfish or, you know, like a live performance on like The Bachelor or anything like that? How's that going? We're working on it. Yeah. Apparently the guy who does, who like picks the music for Catfish likes our band. So maybe we'll get in the next season. I don't know. I also am really into the show Vanderpump Rules. So maybe we could get on there. And so my last question before we go into like more lighthearted questions is, uh, so do you guys ever start that uh, Gear Talk podcast? Or is that in the mix? It's still in the works. Yeah. <laughs> Because I know you guys love talking about, you know, gear. Gear! Gear! It's in the works. That's glad to hear. We're working on it! <laughs> We're working on it! And so I just have, like, a few quick fun questions, you know? So you guys, believe it or not, you know, all of those other ones were more of the serious ones. So you guys could, you know, loosen up. Yeah, you could chill on this one. All right, relax. So first one. If you guys weren't focused like on the band, what do you think you would be like doing instead, like career-wise? I think I'd be a scientist. <laughs> uh, maybe a nurse. I'd probably be a math teacher. <laughs> um, maybe I'd be an art teacher. Mm. We would work at the same yeah. school. <laughs> And so I know you guys have been friends for a long time, you know, and you guys have been on multiple tours, you know, and I know you guys are really close, but, you know, sometimes, you know, even if you're really close, like, example, like, if I was, like, close to my brother, we still got on each other's nerves. So my question is, you guys have, like, any pet peeves about each other? <laughs> um, hmm. I, I feel like it's not so much, like, pet peeves, but we just, like, can really predict what each other are gonna do. Like Lydia, whenever she gets a text message, she'll just like giggle, but like not tell us what yeah. she's laughing at. It's like, oh, Lydia just got another funny text message. I feel like Julia loses her phone a lot, but then finds it like in her backpack immediately. Yeah. Just like little things like that. We just like, I don't Gretchen's know. Gretchen's always spilling things. Yeah, Gretchen's always <laughs> spilling things. Yeah. It doesn't really bother me. It doesn't bother me, yeah, exactly. It's just like, just like, oh, there's Gretchen with the stain stick again. Gretchen. <laughs> this is good sweater because yeah, it really hides it. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I actually recently discovered that my shirts are covered in stains, but I just always wear patterned shirts. So, like, I never knew. It's not just me. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm always asking what's going on because I like, can't hear very well. <laughs> yeah. What? 
So what would you guys be? What would you guys say would be like the official drink of Chastity Boat? I think. Uh, well, Annie's not drinking right now, but <laughs> but kombucha. Yeah. We yeah. Um, but like when yeah, I think. The rest of us all really like tequila with soda and grapefruit. Paloma? A Paloma? Paloma. Yeah. If anyone wants to buy us a drink ever. And so my last question for you guys before we wrap up is, uh, oh, what do you think you guys were in a past life? It could be anything. I think I was some kind of underwater creature. Maybe a whale, a humpback whale. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think it was a sloth. Mm, yeah. I don't know. I. I think you were like a gazelle yeah, or something. Like, oh, like yeah. a, some kind of. Or a deer, deer maybe. Yeah. yeah. For some reason, moss came to mind, but I, that's a little bit weird. Moss. Yeah. <laughs> moss. <laughs> moss. Moss on a, on a log. Moss on a log. <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I've been thinking about therapy a lot, but I was going to say a therapist. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Feels right. <laughs> and so that pretty much wraps it up. And we had a lot of great answers. Thanks for coming, guys. Yeah, I really appreciate it. And so, real quick, where can we find your music and where can we find you guys on social media? Um, look us up on Facebook, Chastity Belt, uh, chastity-belt.bandcamp.com. And, or you could, we're on Spotify, Apple Music, uh, Twitter, we've got a Chastity, yeah. Chastity Belt. Chastity Belt on Instagram. Chastity Belt on Instagram. We're all over the place. Check us out. Okay. And so yeah, I'm Christian Lee, I'm with KCR College Radio, and that was my interview with Chastity Belt. Thank you. Thank you.